Welcome to the Midnight Quilt Show, where we celebrate the best time of the night by making a quilt. And tonight's quilt uses two basic shapes to make some pretty interesting Hey, and welcome to the Midnight Quilt Show. I'm your host, Angela Walters, and we're gonna be making a totally tubular half square triangle quilt. Okay, so let's get to it. The quilt pattern I'm working on tonight is called Modern Technology by Monique Dillard, which is the best name ever, I feel like. And I'm using these boundless ombre solids. And there's something about the name Modern Technology that just reminds me how old I am. There's nothing to bring things into perspective, like when you have to ask your nine-year-old how to unlock your phone or to load an app. It's all right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to terms with it, it's fine. Technology will continue to pass me by. But what's not gonna pass me by is using these beautiful ombre colors to make this quilt that looks super complex, but it's actually really easy. It's two basic shapes repeated in different arrangements to give us some interesting looking blocks. But before I can start cutting, I actually have to divide these into groups. So I'm gonna look at all my beautiful colors and divide them in groups of three with light, medium, and darks. So I have my first grouping of colors. I have my dark, my medium, and my light. And I'm gonna cut these all up separately, but keep them together because these three fat quarters are gonna make six of the blocks for my quilt. Now that I have my strips cut, I'm gonna cut my strips into squares and cut them in half diagonally so that I have triangles. And I'm gonna use my fun rotating mat, which is so nice. I think what's amazing about modern technology is it applies to everything, including quilting. I mean, even just take the rotary cutter. Somebody thought about this. Like, it would be so much easier to cut fabric if we just had a circular blade. And you think about even 30 years ago how they would have made quilts. We're gonna be using our templates and our scissors to cut them out. And of course, we're gonna be hand piecing them because that's all we have to use right now. Okay, so let's get to it. That would have taken a long time. I think I'll, I'll keep my, my modern rotary cutter. So now that I have a bunch of different triangles, I'm gonna show you the different blocks you can make with these pieces. Now we're gonna take our triangles and make our first unit, which is called birds in the air block. And this block is gonna make up the bigger blocks that we're gonna make later on. So I'm gonna pick just two colors. Let's do the darker and the lighter. That looks good. And I'm going to sew them together to make half square triangles. So this is where the ombre fabrics are really gonna make some cool effects. I have a really dark, dark and a lighter here. But as I start pulling in the other pieces, we're gonna see those different shades come together. So now that I have my half square triangle, I'm going to press it and trim it up with my ruler. It needs to be about two and a half inches, roughly. And I'm gonna press it towards the dark side, cause you know, that's what us quilters do, right? Whoa. Press to the dark side. So I have my half square triangle. I'm going to add these other colors and then a bigger triangle and I'll have my first birds in the air unit. So there's my first birds in the air unit and I have it nice and pressed, but I love to give it one last hit with the best press, get it nice and flat. That way these bias seams don't stretch on me as I'm sewing it together. Just another great invention of modern technology. It smells so pretty. And then the second block, well, we've already seen it. It's a half square triangle. It's just a little bit larger. So taking two of the larger triangles and sewing them together. So now that we know how to make the two very easy pieces of our blocks, let's see the different arrangements that we can put them together in to make our modern technology quilt. Okay, so we already saw how those shapes come together. Now we're gonna see the blocks that you make with them. And this is what's pretty fun. These two shapes make six different blocks. So we're gonna look through and see what they look like. So here's block one. And you can see I have my three birds in the air blocks and a half square triangle block. And where these fabrics come together is what really makes it look different than the individual pieces. All right, second block, still pretty similar, right? Two of the birds of the air and then two of the half square triangles. A little different placement of fabrics. This is where we're really starting to see those subtle shadings of the colors come into play. Block three, still just as beautiful as the rest. Half square triangles, four of them together. I mean, I'm sure any quilter out there has done that a couple of times but it's the placement of the colors together that give us this diamond kind of shape right here. All right, block four is four of the birds in the air. And so here we have the two different color placements, really pretty. All these points coming together, 
but really it's not too difficult once you start piecing. Block five, more half square triangles, but the fabric arrangement is different. Instead of having the colors touch, they're all going in the same orientation and which gives us a slightly different look to that block. And block six uses four of the birds in the air sections, but they're all orientated towards the center, which gives us a square within a square within a square looking block. And once you have a pretty stack of blocks, you can lay out the quilt. And the best thing about this pattern is there's no wrong way. In fact, she even tells you in the pattern, lay them out in a pleasing manner. I, mean, I thought, how nice is that? So you're gonna take your blocks and just arrange them. And the pattern has instructions for all different sizes. I'm making the smallest one, but if you made the larger one, you just have more blocks. And so you can arrange them, rotate them, put them however you like. And since they're all made on the same grid, all these points are gonna come together eventually. Very pretty. What I love about it, these are really nice and basic blocks. I mean like basic in a good way, like versatile. These aren't your average basic blocks. All right, so there's the first two rows. I'm gonna sew them together and then I'll come back and show you what the whole quilt looks like when I'm finished. Oh, I love it when a quilt comes together nice and fast. Now I've got my quilt top made, all my blocks laid out in a very pleasing manner. It's time to use one of my favorite modern technologies, a ruler foot, and machine quilt it using some fun rulers. So I'm gonna get it basted and we'll get to the machine quilting. The great thing about all the Patrick pieces means that I can have a lot of fun quilting it. I'm gonna do a little ruler work, a little free motion quilting, and if you wanna get your hands on some modern technology quilting supplies, I have a coupon code for free shipping. It's in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. So in the tiny little squares, I'm gonna use continuous curve because it's such a quick and easy way to quilt your quilt. Starting from one corner, I'm gonna quilt a line that curves out to the next point, and then quilt a serpentine line that works its way down and back to where I started. Another curved line will take me to my next area and on around so that I can quilt more continuous curve lines. Since I'm already on a continuous curve kick, I think I'm gonna do some other variations in the bigger triangles did a variation of the continuous curve where I start from an outer point of my triangle and quilt a line that curves to the next point. Then from there, another curvy line that goes out to the midway point and returning back to where I started. And then the final continuous curve will take me on to the opposite of my starting point to that corner of the block. So the most important thing to remember when quilting a quilt like this is to have fun using a bunch of different designs. So I think I'm gonna do more continuous curve variations, maybe some echo lines. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. But I'm gonna get it finished and then I'll show you what it looks like. Now this modern technology is finished and I'm loving, loving, loving how it turned out. I am so in love with the idea that I can make two basic shapes and create six different blocks make the layout however I like, just so that those ombre fabrics can really sparkle and shine on the quilt top. And of course, quilting with orange thread, using a bunch of different textures is always a great way to spend the night. Well, I'm so glad you joined me, and don't forget there is a coupon code for free shipping in the description box below, and I'll see you on a future episode of the Midnight Quilt Show. Until then, happy quilting.